1940, the Friedrich Rebbe came to America because he could no longer stay in Russia or Latvia or Poland. And his purpose for coming here and the reason that he had to come here is because it was time to bring Hasidus to the other half of the planet. Yiddishkeit, Teira, Chassidus, all existed on the upper half of the planet. Now it was time to bring Chassidus to Chatsi Kader HaTachten, to the lower half of the world. If you look at the globe, it's all sideways. Eretz Yisrael is at the top, the north, and we are at the bottom. So it was time to bring Chassidus to the Chatsi Kader HaTachten, to the lower half of the globe. And the question is, what does it mean to bring Hasidus to a place? Obviously, it's not enough to print a Tanya. You go to a place, you print a Tanya, you brought Hasidus to that place. That's certainly not enough. It's not even enough to have a few people who sit and learn Hasidus in that place, although it's a good beginning. It's not even enough to translate Hasidus into the language of that place, like English. To bring Hasidus to a place means that the thinking of a Hasid, Hasidic thinking, becomes the norm in that place. Not something exotic, not something foreign, not something imported, but it becomes the thinking of that place. It becomes the norm. Now, obviously, in order for that to happen, you really have to understand in your mind, with your intelligence, and in your words, what Hasidus is saying. And then you can talk about it like casual conversation. There's still some work to be done in that uh, direction, to bring Hasidus to this part of the globe. And that's part of our purpose is to get together and talk Hasidus in a language that everybody understands. So that Hasidus becomes the norm, the standard of thinking in America for everybody. <laughs>